as a follow up to my earlier report about the abuse of det- those detained at Brook House, here we see the Guardian reporting on Suella Braverman's response to it. Braverman stopped immigration centre inspections despite safe gliding warnings. What makes this more amusing yet, in a very bleak way, is that the person reporting on it, David Neal, is hardly what you would call a fluffy liberal. He's a former brigadier in the army. In a, David Neal, the independent chief inspector of borders and immigration, ICIB, said the Home Secretary stopped his annual review of adults at risk held in removal centres last cent- September. The decision came days after Neil specifically warned the Immigration Minister, Robert Jenrick, that protections must be put in place for valuable detainees and the necessary changes were moving at a glacial pace, he wrote. So we have a government that talks tough and gives us loads of mouth about what they're doing about immigration. But this is what's the point in blocking helping deta- vulnerable detainees and, to, and talking like macho nonsense if you're actually doing nothing to at ground level and just creating more and more hidden problems in our societies. The inquiry found that people at Brook House who were supposed to be removed from the UK were subject to degrading treatment, including being forcibly re- detained while naked and were caused unnecessary pain by dangerous restraint techniques. It also said homophobic comments were made against one detainee at the centre near Gatwick Airport. Neil writes, when I submitted my last report to the Home Secretary in September 2022, I called for a meeting with the Immigration Minister, Robert Jenrick, to give him the latest findings and to convey my concern about the lack of progress in making improvements to immigration detention. Amusingly, let me find this bit down there. Neil is a former brigadier in the Royal Military Police and less said lessons could be learned from army methods of detention. In all those years, under that, all that pressure, I never once saw my soldiers behaving in anything all other than a decent, respectful and professional way with the detainees. It's all more shocking than, as the Brookhouse inquiries found, immigration detention staff just outside at Gatwick Airport should have been capable of such security cruelty. This echoes the point I made earlier, that if you employ people on a low wage in such a sensitive position, these sort of issues will result. The difference between Neil's example of soldiers and private security is that soldiers will be trained to a far higher level and have a hierarchy of command to report to. So, although there are examples of soldiers abusing positions and using unpleasant methods, they're less common. Neil's three-year term ends in March and has not been renewed by the Home Office. I'm not surprised. If he's showing the glaring failings that are evident there, we have Suella, you know, the minister who's famous for bottling it at question time and dashing out for the loo and that. None of this can fill anyone, whether right or left wing, with much confidence in this government. Home Office officials apparently said Neil was excessively critical after he found the government's department treatment of people at his facilities had been unacceptable. That's his job. If he's supposed to report on these issues, then the attention should be paid to what he has to say. However, since it's a 711-page report, you can be damn sure it's going to be shoved in a drawer in a cupboard somewhere and not much more is going to come of it. And people protesting it will, will find themselves shuffled off by the media as... Uh, as left-wing tree huggers, if possible, by certain aspects of the media. I can just see the Daily Mail commenting on this. Their tone would be rather different, I think. All very sad. A solution is yet to be found to the problem, but I don't see the solution. Is that We have people like Suella Braverman who ignores evidence under their nose until it, and, and until it blows up into a riot or some other equally cr- crazy situation.